We don't have to be adversaries, Homer. We both want a fair union contract. Why is Mr. Burns being so nice to me? And if you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Wait a minute. Is he coming on to me? I mean, if I should slip something into your pocket, what's the harm? Oh, my God, he is coming on to me. After all, negotiations make strange bedfellows. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Burns, but I don't go in for these backdoor shenanigans. Sure, I'm flattered, maybe even a little curious, but the answer is no. Hmm. Uh, I hate to interrupt your fun, boys, but I got a few complaints that your game is crooked. <laughs> and how? Gee, I'd hate to close you down. Maybe we can reach a little, uh, understanding here. I understand. Um, hey, Dad, I... I think he was... Not right now, son. Daddy's talking to a policeman. Uh, let me put it this way. I'm looking for my friend Bill. Have you seen any Bills around here? No. He's Bart. Uh, 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 listen carefully and watch me wink as I speak, okay? Okay. The guy I'm really looking for, wink, is Mr. Bribe, wink, wink. It's a ring toss game. All right, that's it. I'm shutting this game down. Well, ain't that something? Our game. Our home. What happened here? Cops took it. What? Why didn't you bribe them? I was trying to, but the opportunity never came up. I'm still not sure how he caused the meltdown. There wasn't any nuclear material in the truck. Oh, very well. It's time for your bribe. Now, you can either have the washer and dryer where the lovely Smithers is standing, or you can trade it all in for what's in this box. The box. The box. Look, Burns, this is a big problem. You just can't throw money at it and make it go away. Gentlemen, I've decided there will be a no investigation. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll go away. You are the new cop on the beat. Okay, I know the drill. What will it be? One hundred? Two hundred? Two hundred? No, no, I mean, I mean nothing. I don't take bribes. Yes, of course you don't. I will just leave this money on the table with my unseeing back to the money on the table. A poo? No. Hmm. That's, That's better. better. Your generosity is greatly appreciated, especially during this health inspection season. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Health inspection. That reminds me. <laughs> Your change, sir. <clears throat> We're working on that roach situation, I swear to God. Yeah, you should see the hospital. Thank you, Mayor Quimby, for honoring us with the school milk concession. Well, the good children of Springfield need their milk, and I need my... <coughs> <clears throat> Please accept this kickback as a token of our esteem. Thank you, Fat Tony. However, in the future, I would prefer a nondescript briefcase to the sack with a dollar sign on it. Mr. Burns, in 20 years, I have never seen such a shoddy, deplorable... Oh, look! Some careless person has left thousands and thousands of dollars just lying here on my coffee table. Uh, Smithers, why don't we leave the room and hopefully when we return, the pile of money will be gone. <sighs> Look, Smithers, the money and a very stupid man are still here. Burns, if I didn't know better, I'd think you were trying to bribe me. But is there some confusion about this? Take it, take it, take it, you poor schmo. Mr. Burns, <laughs> I'm going to overlook this felony. However, I will not overlook the 342 violations I have observed at your plant today. Either bring this place up to code or we'll shut it down. Good day. Uh, Freddy Quimby was with me the entire night in question. We were collecting canned goods for the starving people in, uh, you know, one of them loser countries. Well, that clear. He's Freddy. clearly innocent. Oh, good. My laundry is done. You see, Lisa, they don't need my testimony. Only because Mayor Quimby's buying his nephew's freedom. <sighs> the system works. Just ask Klaus von Bülow. I told you no one ever came here. <laughs> so, Bob, where do we stand on Springfield Forest? Do I get my logging permit? Well, let me put it this way, Jerry. 
Timber! <laughs> Excellent. Bribing those two judges has paid off, just as it did during the Miss Teen America pageant. How can you vote for Burns' movie? Let's just say it moved me to a bigger house! Oops, I said the quiet part loud and the loud part quiet. Oh, dear. Buyers of the illegal booze? Gangsters running truckloads of smuggled hooch all the way from Shelbyville. And John Law was helpless. You didn't see nothing. <laughs> I don't know why people are always bad-mouthing the Mafia.